Here's another Rama Club idea. Painted quarters. Now, I wanted to point out, if you want one of these stickers, you can email me. My address is on the document uh, at the website, like shop-s.top or junk-foo.com and I have other ones. But they're all linked to the same thing. Pretty much looking for an investor that wants to work with me or something. But, um, so, I heard it was illegal to deface quarters, and I also heard that the reason they have little edges on the side is because in the old days, people used to cut off all the metal and shave the quarter down so they could still use it. And they'd get some extra metal value from all the shavings. But, um, I don't think this is really defacing it. I've seen some painted Walking Liberties and it kind of gave me the idea to do the same. So, um, they were for sale. And I painted these with the Sharpie markers. Some of them gold. Um, the ones that come from Michael's, their brand. And I want to point out, I found this penny from when they repaired the building. <coughs> Monticello's cap dome got repaired. Or, uh, I forgot. One of the domes got repaired in 2009, so they had that special penny. And I also found other nickels that were kind of cool. Um, I'll, I'll go get those right now and show you. But um, in the meantime, you can try to look at those. Actually, I couldn't find it. I was looking for a nickel that that was Lewis and Clark nickel, and it disappeared. It was along the same idea as those other ones, but um, yeah, it's really gone. And now this one's back. Came out around the same time. Um, okay, so I have this one. It's like the Washington face one, and then. This one, it says, um, White Mountain. This one says New York. This one says North Carolina. This one says the Arches. This one is the Buffalo Nickel from, um, 2005. Yeah. And this one is, um, White Mountain again. Thought it was a different one. West Virginia. Um, that one has a buffalo and says uh, Yellowstone National Park. This one has a bird, catch a tea. This one says Great Sand Dunes. This one says Ellis Island. These are the pennies and the nickel. Not too special. Um, this one says. Cumberland Gap, first gateway to the west. Um, this one says Hawaii and has a statue. I also have one that says Hawaii Volcano right here. And it's like a rip thing. I try to paint that. The paint really comes off really easily on this metal. I don't know what to say. Acrylic paint might, I mean, uh, yeah, acrylics might be a better paint. Um, this one says Apostle Islands. This one says, um, has an astronaut, and it says Ohio, um, birthplace of aviation pioneers. Um, back to that one penny. I wonder what happened to the Lewis and Clark nickel. That was an interesting little one I kept with all my stuff. Maybe it's here. Yeah, I think it's in this pile. I'll pour it out in a second. Um, here we go. This one is the Kiat's T one again. I just painted it differently. This one says, um, Bombay, Bombay Hook. This one says the Great Sand Dunes. And these are other ones. 
this one was Ridge Parkway. We really can't see that, it's terrible. Yeah, still can't see it. Um, this one says Missouri. It has like a canoe on it. And um, a mountain or something? I don't know what that is. Like big black circle. Canoe. Yeah. Um, this one says George Rogers Clark. The arches again. Georgia. Um, North Carolina. A regular corner that I painted. Just 84. And then I have some... Look at this one. This one's like 85. It turned to steel, man. That one. I found these ones outside. Not, not in chains. 77 or 72. Yeah, those ones aren't too special. A couple wheat pennies I found. I liked them. I had a golden penny before. I think the kids in school, they, they turned pennies into brass, and that was one of them. But, um, I wanted to point out the differences in the faces, because the buffalo nickel, he's like turning to the right. It's kind of like the Lewis and Clark one. He's like turning to the right, too. Where is it at? Um, then, that was another Lincoln, or I mean, the uh, Jefferson one from the nickel. I didn't paint most of the backs, so here's the attempt at painting a bear. Um, six minutes. I still have a couple minutes to show you the rest. The canoe is over there. Is that the same one? Yeah. It's interesting. It seems normally I don't do repeats a lot, but it seems like we got a couple repeats. So. That was interesting how they like doubled it. <laughs> um, I don't have the inventory on them. I really shouldn't keep track of it. This one has, it says Fort McHenry. You see Fort McHenry? It has like fireworks. It looks like the moon kind of with the flag on it. I painted it terribly. But it actually has some more details. Looks like a building underneath there. Anyways, if you like my stickers, you can get them. You, you just send me a self-addressed stamp from look. Tell me how many you want. And, um, just give me a robo light. I call them robo lights instead of lights. Because they have the little logo for Rama. But, um, let me see if I can find that nickel. Okay, there's the regular nickel. Here's an old family fun center token with the slots that you have to sit down a certain special way. Those are good to paint. Um, here's another token. I asked David for this one. It was his. It said Long Ride Six Flags. I've only been to Six Flags once. Is this the one? Yeah. See, this is the nickel. It says Lewis and Clark and has like trees and lake on it. It'd be good to paint. It's from 2005 again when the face is pointed right. I asked the um, the other sides of Buffalo on them. I asked people that worked at the store if they'd ever seen these two nickels and no one's ever seen them. And they work with money all day so that was weird. This one's called Homestead. I want to paint that on but I haven't. This one says South Dakota has a little eagle. I might paint that one. Um, this one says Paris Victory. And it has like a tower and a guy. I don't know if it's Paris. It's like Paris, France or what. This in the other log cabin says Ozark Riverway. Um, and this was just another quarter I found with two holds. Looked like they exploded. Um, sometimes they use these kind of quarters to cheat. Uh, but this one looks a little different. I don't know. I keep it right here. So that was like some ideas. I was putting them on hats. Like with these double sided foams. Check out my hat. Okay that's the end. I got a lot of buttons on it.